Hi everyone, I'm Annie and I'm an iOS engineer on the growth team. I've been at Strava since this past October, um, plus an internship in 2017. So today I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about what brought me to Strava and also about growth team culture at Strava. So I just graduated from Stanford in June um, and at Stanford I majored in symbolic systems, which I'm destined to explain for the rest of my life means that I majored in a kind of a mix of psychology and computer science. Um, and within that, I concentrated in human-computer interaction. So within that kind of general realm of interest, I worked in a health psychology lab as a research assistant. And my work there really got me interested in this question. What is the psychological power and impact of health-related user interfaces? And my passion and interest in this subject made me really want to work at a health tech company with a big user-facing side. Um, and that's what brought me to Strava as an iOS engineer the summer before my senior year at school. When I returned to school, I wanted to keep exploring this field, so I worked at a company called Lark as a health psychology content consultant. So Lark is basically a health coach chatbot um, in an app on your phone, and so I wrote content for conversations like these with um, users who were struggling with diabetes or hypertension. And then after graduation, I returned back to Strava as a full-time iOS engineer. If you're wondering how I feel about being back at Strava, this picture pretty much sums it up. <laughs> this is me running in our JP Morgan corporate 5K. Um, but yeah, this really says it all. I love Strava. It's um, been such a fantastic experience working here. We are hiring. Um, <laughs> so now that you guys know a little bit about me, um, I'm going to talk some about growth team culture at Strava. Um, maybe it's helpful to talk about what the growth team means at Strava. Um, so we really focus on bringing users into the product and also on the new user journey, so a user's first seven days in the product. Um, and for us, um, growth team culture really revolves around these two themes of inclusivity and empowering experimentation. So what do I mean by inclusivity? Um, we're very inclusive of both ideas and people. And that comes across in many ways through the way we do brainstorms, the way we think about our users, um, and also who we give task ownership to on the team. So our brainstorms are very inclusive of different roles on the teams. Um, when we have kind of an idea of a product we want a project we want to pursue, we get engineers of all different levels, designers and PMs in the same room. And although the quality of our sketches are not always equal, <laughs> um, the <laughs> ideas are hopefully always taken um, equally seriously. There, it's a really collaborative environment. There are no no vetoes in this room, and it's really all about cultivating that creativity um, and collaboration. I've definitely found that getting all these different perspectives and roles in the same room, the whole is much greater than the sum of the parts. Um, next, user perspectives. So on the growth team, we have this mantra, I am not the user. We repeat this a lot. It helps us keep front of mind the fact that um, I use Strava in a much different way than um, the typical user, especially the typical new user and therefore I should build with that in mind. I should not be a building a product for myself. Um, finally, task ownership. So you don't have to have been here the longest or to have the most experience to own tasks on the growth team. Within my first two weeks of being here, I got to build this feature where you can post a sticker of your activity to your Instagram story. Now, as you can imagine, I tested this feature a lot over the course of my building it. I was posting an inappropriate number of runs to my, uh, to my Instagram, my personal Instagram story, which resulted in quite a bit of confusion on the part of my friends. <laughs> I received a lot of DMs like this. Um, <laughs> Now that I've talked some about inclusivity, I'm going to move on to this idea of empowering experimentation. So experimentation is a really common thing on a lot of growth teams, um, but at Strava, I'd like to say we have a particularly tested culture. 
Um, so that means that no matter who you are on the team, if you're excited about an experiment idea, um, and if that if there's kind of plausible reason to believe that it'll positively impact one of our core metrics, um, we really encourage you to run with it. And I think that's evidenced by the fact that we actually set aside quite a bit of time um, to allow people to run with it. So um, the day before Thanksgiving, there's in the kind of smoky haze that I'm sure we all remember, um, my fellow engineer on the growth team, Tim, and Elise, who you guys will hear from in a second, um, declared it a mini experiments day. So they said you can run today, you can take the day and run whatever experiment you want to as long as you follow these guidelines, collaborate um, with design, target a specific metric um, that we care about and don't take more than four hours or so to build it. Um, so I went ahead and created this super simple copy change where I changed the text on the follow button to say follow back if that user already follows you. Um, this was really small, it was only a few hours of work, but it resulted in a huge lift in the overall follows on Strava, which is really exciting. Um, and I think this is a super cool example of cultivating creativity um, at all levels of the team, because after we knew um, about the potential here, we put in additional resources into this same idea, and one of the data scientists worked with a senior engineer on the team to create a machine learning version of this same test um, that has recently gone live and also had extremely positive results. Um, and so that's kind of a cool example of how this ex empowering experimentation culture can really um, result in a very cool momentum. Um, this culture is not exclusive to the growth team. We also here at Strava have something called Jans. So four times a year we set aside three days for basically a company-wide hackathon where um, everyone can work on whatever they want to that they're excited about um, related to Strava for three days. It's a really cool ch chance to kind of switch up the pace of things and also collaborate with people that you don't usually get to work with. Um, so for the most recent Strava Jams, I created yet another quite simple test. I put a country flag emoji on the bottom of um, users' profile pictures. Now this was not quite as much of a glaring success as the follow back test because it turns out our back end does not distinguish between Northern Ireland and England. <laughs> which meant that about 16 hours after this went live we were experiencing quite a few angry support tickets from Irish users <laughs> wondering why yours truly had put a a Union Jack flag on the bottom of their profile pictures. <laughs> that just goes to show that I am not the user. Um, thank you so much. That's it. <laughs>